live from the O'Hara Construction Studio in downtown Jackson. It's the Bart Hawley Show. I'm David Rice, inviting you to join Bart and his guests. From the Center for Family Health, family nurse practitioner, Tracina Christensen and Clara Van Dusen. Owner of Michigan Center Business, Fur Paws, Cynthia Barton Spencer. From Lost Railway Museum, Kim Conant and Tom Nolte. From Hidden Lake Gardens, Jessica Goodrich. And from Encounter Church, Pastor Trevor Hyde. And now, here's Bart. Thank you very much, David Rice. Good afternoon. Welcome. Nice to have you with us today on this uh, 7th of May. Right now, 69 degrees, and we have a threat of rain. Right now, radar shows there are some showers that will be moving through our area in the next hour this Tuesday afternoon. And then even a thunderstorm is possible. The Weather Service says that there's a uh, slight risk for uh, severe weather, and that would include strong winds and hail. But right now, there are no watches or warnings. Then once this first wave of storms moves through, it uh, will clear up for a little bit, then uh, more rain this afternoon around 6 o'clock, according to the forecast of the future radar. A, another series of storms moving through from 6 to 8 p.m. And then uh, overnight showers and thunderstorms lingering. Our uh, chance of precipitation 70% today with a high of 72. Tonight we will be around 48 degrees in temperatures at night all this week in the upper 40s. Our Wednesday forecast, beautiful, sunny, and a high of 76. Tomorrow's the day for uh, all the outdoor things you want to do. Mow the lawn, play golf, be outside. Thursday showers back late in the day and much cooler, a high of 61. Thursday clearing on Friday, sunny and 62. And for Mother's Day weekend, Chance of showers both Saturday and Sunday, high on both days in the low 60s. So Wednesday is the beautiful day this week. And there you have it, today's weather presented by Kelly Express. You can get uh, your favorite snacks at Kelly Express and save money as well on things like cheese witches, two for five dollars, oh snap pickles, two for three dollars, and for you baseball players, David's Sunflower Seeds, two for four dollars. The pizza special, a large Supreme Pizza, $17.99, South Street, Jefferson Road, Napoleon, Grass Lake, and County Farm Road. Thank you, Kelly Express. Oh, and the lottery uh, prizes are uh, inching upwards, both Mega Millions and uh, Powerball. They haven't been won in a while, so we've got... Uh, Big jackpots and get your lucky tickets at Kelly Express. Let's look outside. We're seeing uh, things cloud up as we look east. Maybe we'll point the sky camera west. Can you guys do that uh, sometime? Uh, so you see the, the weather rolling from the west. <coughs> Some uh, odd looking, uh, odd looking uh, clouds off to the west. So we'll take a look at the, the west in just a few moments. Today is the 7th of May, and it is National Concert Day. Any concerts on the schedule today, Brandon? Today? I don't think No, so. I don't think there's, there's none. Why would you have? It should be on a Saturday or Friday. Uh, National Cosmopolitan Day, and I believe <clears throat> that's the cocktail, not the magazine. It is National Roast Leg of Lamb Day, something I don't think I've ever had. Uh, it's National Teacher Day, and we salute teachers. Thank you for all your hard work. As we come close to the end of the school year, you've, 
you've almost made it. <laughs> it is World Asthma Day and National Tourism Day. Back in uh, history on this day in 2000, Vladimir Putin became the president of Russia. He's since won re-election, <laughs> in fact, just yesterday, he was re-elected to a fifth term, re-elected to a fifth term of six years. So <laughs> his goal to be president for life, it's coming true. And of course, I don't think, you know, I, I can't base this on fact, but I think the elections in Russia are suspect. Uh, it's uh, the history of the, um, or the day in uh, 1946, Sony was founded. Where would we be without Sony? In uh, 1867, Alfred Nobel, and of course we know his name for the Nobel Prizes, but his big accomplishment was inventing dynamite. And here's a label from the uh, package. He first called it is uh, blasting powder. Now, I think um, when they first came out, it was called dynamite. Yeah, I was say, it, when did they add the E? I, I don't know. I, I've researched this. I've, I've found no other record besides this label of the product being called dynamite. But when it first came out, it was Alfred Nobel's blasting powder. He changed the name to dynamite or dynamite from the Greek word Dynamis, which means power. Mm. So it was a very powerful uh, product. You don't want to mess around with dynamite or dynamite. If it stayed dynamite, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy, yeah, JJ, I like JJ Walker's version better. His version would be dy dynamite. Dynamite. <laughs> dynamite. <laughs> All right, we can see how things look to our west. No, not a big difference. Well, it's starting to get... <laughs> Doesn't look it, too bad, yeah. <laughs> it, it will. Uh, not very dramatic. I, trust me, trust me on this. It, okay. <clears throat> we'll monitor this. And um, Austin, will you bring the sky cam back uh, during the show today? On this day in 1998, Daimler-Benz announced the purchase of Chrysler. And it was big uh, news back then because this was the biggest, the largest acquisition by a foreign buyer of any U.S. company in history. Biggest purchase. Uh, since um, then, Daimler-Benz uh, sold um, Chrysler eventually to uh, like a hedge fund kind of thing and then uh, Fiat. And it's part, I think it's part of Fiat now, right? I think Fiat, so. Chrysler. Um, but it was because they really were interested in Chrysler because of the minivan. The minivan was super popular and it was a big, big product for Chrysler. And then the, uh, the Jeeps. And also, uh, let's see what else. Oh, in 1965, the Rolling Stones finished the studio recording of Satisfaction, also known as I Can't Get No Satisfaction. And it was their first major hit. The song had been composed just a week earlier by Keith Richard, he woke up from sleep. He was in a dead sleep. He bolted awake, had the song in his head, and he grabbed a tape recorder and laid down the song's opening riff, and then he went back to sleep. And then in the morning, he listened to the tape, 45 minutes of snoring, then the song. <laughs> and he, he made the song out of his dreams. So dreams are powerful. Money making for the Rolling Stones. And in 1915, the German sub sank the Lusitania. Uh, it was a British ocean liner. People were just enjoying a, a trip. And a German sub sank it without warning. And 1,959 passengers and crew on board, more than half drowned. And they said, well, we told you we might set off bombs and you should have listened. But 1915, yeah. amazing, yeah. Uh, now on to Today in the J, brought to you by Experience Jackson. 
And we had planned tonight's walk, roll, and stroll Jackson event opening night, but City Recreation Department has said due to the weather and the chance of some strong storms and heavy rain, the event is canceled. So the first walk, roll, and stroll will be Tuesday, May 21st, and it will be at the Cascades, and we'll have that on our uh, website, a partnership between the Rec Department and AARP Michigan. We have a recipe club at the Springport branch of the Jackson District Library this afternoon, a casual afternoon to exchange uh, recipes and talk about all things food, groceries, and couponing. That's at the Springport branch of the Jackson District Library, three till four. And I'm going to give you a heads up for something that's happening tomorrow. And with the weather forecast clearing up and uh, being beautiful tomorrow, Jackson College will launch their Astronomical Observatory Public Viewing Series and it will be from 9, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m., 9 to 11 p.m. Wednesday night at their new Astronomical Observatory. And they will be doing this on Wednesdays and Fridays through the end of July. And that will be weather permitting and the weather cloud free or a uh, few clouds in the sky so that you can see the planets, the moon, and the moons? The moons. The moons. <laughs> Uh, and the stars. That's tomorrow. And the uh, Grass Lake Farmer's Market tomorrow night, too. And that's it. Today in the J, uh, brought to you by Experience Jackson. Today is Election Day. There are uh, three uh, areas in Jackson County with things on the ballot. And they are East Jackson. East Jackson Community Schools has a bond proposal of nearly $10 million. They want to make some improvements at East Jackson Schools, including remodeling, security improvements, furnishings, equipment, instructional technology, school buses, playgrounds, athletic fields, parking areas, and more. That's East Jackson School District. Also today, the Township of Napoleon has a police and fire operating millage renewal, and this is so that they can continue offering the police and fire services in Napoleon Township, and that is something that voters have previously passed, and they're asking just for the renewal, no new taxes or increases in Napoleon. And one other, what's the other one? Concord. Concord has a... Um, ballot proposal as well. So if you're unsure where to vote or uh, where you live, uh, you can visit michigan.gov slash SOS or the Jackson County uh, website with the um, search for elections, election information, and you see your sample ballot in polling places and more at the Jackson County of Jackson website. Today's show being brought to you by Ajax Heating and Air Conditioning since 1945, serving the Jackson area as the premier heating and cooling contractor, Ajax Heating and Air Conditioning, and the Bollinger family, now in its fourth generation, take pride in providing outstanding service to their customers. Their family and company are proud supporters of the Jackson community, participating in many civic activities, events, and with many organizations, they enjoy giving back to the community that has given so much to them. Looking forward to uh, working with you on your next project. There's, visit AjaxHeatingAnAC.com. Our uh, sponsor of the day, we salute and thank American Pet Cremation Services. It's great that we have this service in our community. They provide caring care to families at a time of need, American Pet Cremation Services, one of our great sponsors here on JTV, our sponsor of the day. We've got a great lineup of guests for you on today's show, celebrating nurses all this month. And today we have, uh, in honor of Nurses Week, a family nurse practitioner from the Center for Family Health, Tracina Christensen, and a uh, RN. 
Clara Van Dusen, both over from the Center for Family Health. Today we will introduce you to the owner of Fur Paws, Cynthia Barton Spencer. She's got a number of uh, businesses and organizations that she's involved with. And we'll hear about Fur Paws today. Lost Railway Museum is gearing up for Jackson County Free Museum Day. And Kim Conant and Tom Nolte will be with us from LRM in Grass Lake. Jessica Goodrich has a month full of activities at Hidden Lake Gardens. She'll be telling us about. And the pastor of Encounter Church, Trevor Hyde, will be back with us today. All this and more today on JTV. Thanks so much for being here. And we'll get started right after this. <laughs> 